turns out my food is not going to be ready for like 40 minutes. So we're going to do more of Lantern Rite. Um, we just did a mini game, so I think next I want to go back to the main story. So let's do this. I have to wait until 8 a.m. the next day, apparently. Hopefully this is enough and I don't have to circle it again. It would be such a good quality of life change if they let you skip the time going around in a circle thing. Where do you want to go next? Two days later. Two days later. I can read. Because games like Xenoblade also have a time change thing, and you can you can just skip this. Which realistically, it's only a few seconds of my life, but it feels so much longer. But it should be quite the feast for sure. Ooh, and that's why my stomach right on cue telling her it's time to go find Gabi. Let's go! Yes, let's. We're going. Do I just go in? Can I get food to go? What? Oh. Enter. Oh, you're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, thank you. Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. That was for you to rinse your utensils. <laughs> uh, is that a thing? Is it? As you talk, piping hot dim sum dishes arrive at the table one after another. <laughs> and just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood congee. That's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. What about you, traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. That's how you say it, kanji? I thought it was kongi. Uh, that would be great, thanks. Hi, you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks. He asked me, not you? Rude? Uh, everyone picks up their chopsticks and begins to dig in. Each dish tastes exquisite and is uniquely flavorful. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. So satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. <laughs> oh, listen, listen, Paimon's figured it out. Figured Let's what think about out? This for a second, Gummy. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sums just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. Okay. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Huh? You know Xingqiu? You sure know a lot of people. Liwa is not that big. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. 
Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was on to something new. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small-scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Ganning always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him. This topic must be very important to him. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wusho dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wusho dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day... He tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge Good for you. fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. In oh. the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big in Liyue Harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Oh, me. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. And you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So, I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. You gotta take it slow, you know? Hyman understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. I feel so bad for him. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kind of already have plans this afternoon. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite-making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite-making, Dami? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. You know her? You call her Auntie? That title certainly humanizes her a bit. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that... Not something you can do? <laughs> it's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. She is so putting it on She's a kite. She's only what she wanted them for. Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great, the more the merrier. Okay, off to see Xian Yun. Go to Mount... However you say that word. Hope you don't mind an impromptu visit from Rex Lapis. Oh, 
back. Everyone's here. She's sleeping, standing up. <laughs> Poor Ganyu. She's trying her best. Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. <sighs> Oh, she is out. Hmm. Apologies in advance. What are you about to do? Wait, Shenha, not there. You see Shenha take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelling liquid, and apply it to Ganyu's horn. Yao Yao and Paimon look on in shock, mouths agape, but cannot stop her in time. <coughs> <laughs> See? It worked. She's awake. Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or, or maybe something to eat? I... I'm fine. I just feel... chilly all over. <laughs> Poor Ganyu. Huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Hmm. Master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Uh, Paimon doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. Huh. <laughs> I... I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Connie's like, no, no, I'm fine. I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. I... I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... <laughs> me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Uh, well, you know me. Or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> <laughs> My name or, is I guess you don't. This is Shenha, and this is Yao Yao. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Xian Yun's kite-making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Me too! I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend! Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, isn't her has been super busy helping... Your best friend is Chi Chi? I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. Oh, I That's also so brought bandages cute. and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. <sighs> it was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Good for you, Ganyu. Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered tone? Oh, come on! You clearly heard Paimon! 
monster stop to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Who the heck are you? Oh, it's still warm. Oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Burn. Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? Cloud Retainer sets down her bags while Shu Yu hands out the grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, lively conversation fills the usually tranquil, tranquil environment of Mount Alcong. Who is Shu Yu? Do we know who Shu Yu is? Life is complete. She's got a fancy outfit. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any no. questions? I may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. I'll be the one making it anyway. I knew she could count on you, traveler. One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Okay. Gaming, what you doing? Hey, Gaming! Want to team up? Huh? I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. No, you're here. You're participating. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. There you go. Mm, what shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? What do you think, Shu Yu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanny! Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what you doing? <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With she probably heard you say it to us. Wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm gonna start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? We actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start, uh, right now! <laughs> I'll get there. It'll happen. But I still need to talk to Shenhe and Ganyu. I'm trying to make friends. Oh, I- okay. Um, Shenhe, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. <laughs> They're really quite sensitive. I see. <sighs> my apologies. I shall remember that in the future. 
Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. <laughs> what are we witnessing? Not certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. Well, I should stop. Uh... Hmm, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <coughs> Anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. We should get started on our kite now. Let's go! Okay.